is me, the Grand Duchess Rasmus Gurnin, on the fifth month of the year, 2013 and 21st year. This new beginning and all dawn in a good year. 13, 13, 13, 13, 13, love it. At 3 19 p.m. I wanted to reflect today. I talked to my team today, and we were talking about keeping the focus. And it goes to say that you never lose your focus. You should never be un undeterred if you remain true to yourself, true to what has happened, and there's not a fault of misgiving about the, 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 the tragedy, the trauma, as well as the happiness that incurred in your life. As I reflect today, I look on, back on one year ago, a poem that I wrote. Juan mentioned a girl's mission, a girl like me, a music grand duchess, a woman, a Hermes girl. No, I don't like men. I mean, pardon me, I don't like women, I like men. Real men. And another thing I wrote, pan the coins. Three things, but what stand out to me today? The theme today was focus. What am I focused on? Where am I going? How am I going to achieve it? I already had these plans one year ago. Now it's been verbalized. Whether or not it's believable, that's not my problem. I live my life convinced about who I am, that I am a woman, not like another woman, but an ordinary woman. A woman alone in this world. And so I wrote this poem in advent of that, and I'm going to read it. I, I did not correct it. As I did on the other one, um, I tried to do some corrections. I said, a womanly cause must be astute, never aloof to a man. Loot if he spoofs you. Loot if he spoofs you. The walk to the room, your virtue, yet to be misused. Stand up. Don't plead innocence. Innocence is my defense. Let them recommend or recompense for the atrocities of their mindless amusements. Lest no government stand in amazement where I was sent from, the raw of Eden to the right to right the wrongs of innocent, silence and silent to death in the name of Christian democracy and advancement. I stand astute, sturdy to the mind, Till the day I die, a troubadour whispered from above, cherries cheered from below, peace on earth, or change and scourge forever. I look down on earth from above, God has promised his love. I decided no lawmen. I decided, I can't read it, I decided lawmen for their ears and had to feed the, citizen, the citizens of their chairs and at their feet. If you dare take a closer look and mind, they say you don't belong here. I must fulfill the task I was asked. Hate me. I have a cause, a defense, that will boast of the best in their class. I stand astute, on aloof, from, male, from the male gender. I love men sexually in bed and all around myself. But a woman like me, a Herbis girl, you see, I am that I am, I will stand. The opposite to my sex is a man. Let's be clear the mission God gave me. Dear lest a man betray it, I love him. I love him up and tell him later if peace and humanity can be achieved. For everything I do must be glory to my creation and my creator for greater prosperity of those who suffer to see quite a simple poem 
quite a juvenile poem, but undeterred in my cause and undeterred in my focus. And so girls, girls like me, or people want to call you transgender, whatever they want to call you, be assured in who you are. Know that who you are and stand in the strength of that confidence lies the deeper true meaning of a person ready to share all the benefits of life. And that is et al. The benefits of yourself. The benefits of the dawning of the liberation of your mind, your mindset, and your character. I still stand for the same things I did long ago against the actions of the Army Nurse Corps, against as how I was treated, against even now how I've been treated. I was treated at some earlier point. It has been a horrific and horrendous experience the last five years serving. I would never forget it and I would never want anyone to endure any such things. My mission in life is to never compromise my duty and my dignity and my self-respect to accuse anyone or to force anyone into parts unknown that they don't belong. Such things happened in the days of slavery. And I, as an African American of Jamaican descent, could not choose to do that. I could not inflict that on another person like me. Never have and never will. And so my detractors, the black ones, from the Army Nurse Corps, shame on you. Don't you ever speak to me again. You're a shameful set. Shameful in your mindset and shameful in your actions. I remember one of them was so churchy, so delivering to Jamaican woman, bald fence, light skinned bitch. I say it proudly. And in that was the sheer derogatory ness of her um, backwardness of their um, enlightenment and their um, diversity in thinking. I stand by every word I said today, yesterday, and two years ago because it shows my commitment to who I am and what I represent. And when I stand up and I sign a document and it's not forged, Believe me, I have given more than myself. I have given the sum total of who I am and what I represent. And that is what we must always remember, girls. Gays, transgender, what always remember. You may never be accepted. You may seem to be accepted in your surroundings. But you must never let off from the fact of who you are how you should be treated, and what things you should expect from society. My name is Ryan Tomlinson from birth. I am no longer that. In my adaptation and transformation, as I have known, I was always a girl. Always felt like one, always acted like one. Nothing has changed. I am Misa Grand Duchess. Rasmus Koenin and I stand faithful to the God, to the Creator.